whoa. Should we uh, meet the class of 2013? What do you think? Yeah, Let, let's do it. Okay, so here to present tonight's first award for outstanding technical achievement, please welcome Editor-in-Chief, Content Officer at U.S. News and World Report, Brian Kelly. Good evening. Something as simple, seemingly simple, as grabbing a glass of water is actually quite complicated. Just ask Dr. Francisco Valera Cuevas. As professor of biomedical engineering, as well as biokinesiology and physical therapy at the University of Southern California, he researches how the brain controls the human body. His work combines mathematics and physics with biology and medicine with the goal of creating the next generation of robotic hands and human prosthetics. In general, this is impressive. Uh, in general, our understanding of science advances with greater and greater specialization. USC, however, has entrusted Dr. Valera Cuevas with applying his extensive expertise across a bevy of disciplines to understand and solve some of bioengineering's most complex issues. His research has opened clinical avenues for the quantification and rehabilitation of dexterous manipulation and local motor functions. How did I even get that out there? This is, <laughs> as I said, this is impressive. We're, we're, we're way out there. Um, but all, while also suggesting novel approaches to the design and control of versatile robots. Dr. Valero Cravis is also a devoted educator and mentor. He has initiated and led several high-impact STEM mentoring programs that support underrepresented high school undergraduate and graduate students. Because of his accomplishments as a mentor, he was recognized with a USC Mellon Award for undergraduate mentoring in 2011 and named an Alfred P. Sloan faculty by the Sloan Foundation. He has a Bachelor of Science degree in engineering from Swarthmore College, a master's degree in mechanical engineering from Queen's University in Ontario, and a PhD in mechanical engineering from Stanford University. Esteemed guests, I am happy to present the award for outstanding technical achievement to Dr. Francisco Valero Cuevas. everyone. I get to be first. Thank you so much for being here. I'm deeply honored and humbled to accept this prestigious award. But I'd like to take the opportunity to share with you my conviction that we are actually entering the century when STEM transforms the life sciences. Think back of how, for example, STEM transformed chemistry in the 19th century to bring us the Industrial Revolution or how STEM then transformed physics in the 20th century to bring us plentiful energy and information science, among other things. STEM will now transform medicine and biology beyond recognition via biomedical engineering and biological engineering. We will now delve into the very essence of life, medicine, and the brain. But this next revolution will not only require new technology, it will also require a new culture in education. As high school students, we were often told whether we were good at, at mathematics or not. And then that verdict determined the path of our careers. We were told that mathematics is not necessary to become successful biologists, neuroscientists, or physicians. We were told that biology was not necessary to be good engineers. That was never true. And this was proven by the pioneers who brought us genomics, medical imaging, artificial organs, and prosthesis, to name a few examples. In fact, medicine and biology are the ultimate applications of STEM. Please join us in bringing about this new culture in education. Thank you so much. Thank you. 